Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're outside in the sun. I've got some balls, I've got my bag of clubs, and I've got my range finder. So what I'm going to do is use this Nikon range finder to show you guys how you can improve your practice and improve your shot variation, which will help you play some better golf in maybe some mixed conditions. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, lovely sunny day. I'm outside, I've got some balls, I've got my bag of clubs, and I've got my range finder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some shots where I play with what club I use from certain distances and learn some patterns and try and take those patterns onto the course when the next time I play. So what I've got, I've got my Nikon range finder here and I'm just gonna shoot a target out here. So I've got a sign out there, a range sign, which is measuring out there at, two, at 136. 136 yards, okay? So 136 yards for me, if these were real balls, so we're going to have to pretend these are real balls for distances, so I can see how the distance changes for me relative to real balls. Um, I'm going to hit my pitching wedge. 136 for me is a good, solid struck, firm struck pitching wedge. So I'm going to hit my standard shot. I've hit that nice and straight. And that is going 136. That's going the distance. Maybe 132. It's slightly short, but it's, you know, it's a birdie putt and a good result. So what I would do is I'd hit a number of shots, just homing that distance in, feeling how I'm playing it, making sure I know the distance of my pitching wedge. When struck hard. That's a full struck pitching wedge for me. I know I have to hit that quite full. So now what I'm going to do, I know the distance, so I'm going to go and try and hit the same distance now with a 9-iron. So a 9-iron for me, that distance is medium. I can hold at the top, I can make a pretty full swing. All I'm going to do to try and find the same distance, so I've got a different club, but I'm going to try and land the ball in the same distance. So I'm just going to, in my feelings, I'm going to use less swing speed. I'm going to hit the ball not as aggressively at the bottom. So I'm hitting down on it the same, I'm hitting it very much the same, I just feel like it's in my feel a slower swing. And that's gone maybe one, three, five, almost exact same distance. It feels on the, of the hard pitching wedge to the medium nine iron, feels a little bit stronger than the medium nine iron. So I just brought the speed of that one down a little bit more. Probably perfect distance that looked identical so what i'm going to do now is you get where we're going here i'm going to go up to something like a six iron so i'm going to jump all the way up and now what i'm going to do to hit a six iron the one three six yards i'm going to have to hit this quite soft so literally it's going to feel like i'm pitching this club out there so i'm going to come down the handle so holding down the grip and i'm going to make a similar swing to what i felt like i made but i'm just going to hit it much softer. Also to me it feels like a much more level angle of attack. I feel like I don't hit down as much as that one, which again to me feels like I'm not in it as hard when I do that. And that went there, 136 and then rolled on. Let's do that again. A little bit clean, but that one's where it's going to lose it, losing carry, that's rolling up to the group of other balls. Now that shot for me with a six iron is going to be perfect into the wind. And I'm talking gale force, strong, Lynx golf kind of wind. Rather than hitting my nine iron and pitching wedge up in the air and having to hit them medium or hard, taking extra club, and obviously this is an extreme, but I've played in extreme conditions where this shot has really worked out well. It gives me better feel for what happens when I'm playing in extreme conditions. Now that one's gone left, and that's what it feels like to me when I hit a six iron this soft, it feels to me like I can pull it left. It feels like the face is gonna come in close and the morsel is gonna catch it a little bit on the leftward path. So for me, as I practice this, I'm learning A, how to hit this shot softer and how it feels and if I can control it. But I'm also learning what the patterns are with my miss when it comes to hitting a six iron softer. So I can see it goes out lower because it's a lower loft, which is great. So I'm thinking under trees, under winds. You know, if you wanted to pitch the ball 136 yards and it wasn't to go allowed to go over a certain height, so I had to go under branches, those kind of things. Now this is an option. In effect, I am practicing this shot. And it's this kind of 
gaming practice. I've caught that one a little bit heavy, so slightly short. This kind of gaming practice is what's going to help me take better scores out onto the course because I'm going to feel much more prepared rather than having a shot. There you go, that's perfect. Having a shot that I haven't played since last year when I had to play this shot um, on a hole in a round. So what's happening is I'm actually using it in my practice session to try and find distances with different clubs so I can take that data out onto the course. If I was confronted with this shot on the course and there was trouble at the left, I might think, right, I'm going to hit maybe a hard eight rather than the soft six, which has a tendency to me to pull slightly left. Do you see what I mean? And you can take this to whatever extreme you want. I mean, this is pushing it all the way, but you could do this at a 200 yard marker. You could do it at a lot of different markers. I'm gonna try one now, just for the fun of it. You know, I might play this shot once every four years, but I want to have played it when it comes. I'm now gonna just try and hit a soft, cutty hybrid the same distance, and that's perfect. You know, this is taking it to the strings, but I know that's going much lower than the six iron. Also, doing that soft, cutty feeling, feel like I was swinging left with the face pointing left, but right of my path. So getting that gentle cut coming down the grip, feel like I'm just stitching like a cut up pitch with my hybrid. This feels much more controllable than doing it with a six iron. And when I'm moving it that shape, so instantly here now, if I'm confronted with this shot, I'm thinking actually what I'm gonna do is pitch it with my hybrid with shape rather than hitting my six iron. Oh yeah, that's so much easier to control. So look guys, next time you're on a range, get a distance, and you can do it a lot of different distances. Most of you have got these kind of machines, so you don't have to be using fancy launch monitors to do this. Get your distance measured, take four clubs, from short clubs to long clubs, and see how you can work the ball to get the ball to find that distance. Monitor the trajectory, see how it changes with the different lofts, and monitor which side you miss on more when you're hitting maybe the six iron soft or the pitching wedge hard, and work that data into next time you play. You've got a pitch under trees, 136 yards, water up the left. I'm cutting a rescue every time, which kind of went on the target the slightly right, where my six iron went to target, but had a tendency for me to feel like it was gonna go left. Water on the left, that distance under trees, why would I ever use the six iron? I'm always gonna choose that hybrid. Now I only know that because I'm here practicing it. Do the same, go into the range, go into your practice session, doesn't just mean beating balls and trying to hit perfectly straight shots every time. Try moving the ball, try playing with a loft, try playing with a trajectory, playing with that distance and you'll be much better player for it thanks for watching guys post comments down below how do you practice this or have you never thought about this i would love to hear and uh, we'll speak to you all soon so if you like what's going on here don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel also thumbs up the video post comments love to hear what you guys got to say let's keep it social the more we talk the more we share the easier this game will get for uh, for everybody so if you want to find me on facebook here you can find me on facebook if you want to tweet me Find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.